Hello everyone, I'm Pat Brown with TKL. We're here today to show you four of the 39 new parts we're going to be showing at IBEX. So let's take a look. So Dave, when we go to the marina, you see a lot of these aft transom tables, you know, and uh, yeah, they're all different because for the most part, they're either homemade or you're going to a local one-off fab shop, but clearly there's demand for them. Absolutely. I have a buddy who fishes all the time and he made one for his boat. And uh, I asked him about it and he said, it's literally the favorite part of my boat. You know, whether I'm fishing or whether I'm entertaining, it uh, creates an entire area on the boat that wasn't there before. Talk about some of the accessories that, that we've built to, to make it more functional for just uh, enjoying a day on the water. This is not a singular product that's just for fishing. It's something that, you know, we look at for the builder to be offering something that really has value. You know, when you come into the sandbar, we actually have an accessory that fits in and locks into place on top of the, uh, the transom table that holds all your drinks, has an area in the middle, so if you want to make sandwiches for the kids, uh, you can do that. And then an additional accessory, a grill holder, so you can lock that into place as well. And it locks in several different grills. So you're out there at the sandbar, you're the most popular guy. You have you know, your grill, your family, everybody's taken care of versus trying to use one of these small grills that maybe fits into a rod holder that's a bit more challenging to, to deal with. You know, I spend a lot of time with builders and I understand that a lot of these builders have come out with new models and are working on new models to be dual purpose boats, you know, hybrid boats, that sort of thing. Boats that can, family wants to go fishing, can go fishing on that day, or family wants to be at the sandbar or do those items, you know, they can go to the sandbar and enjoy the boat just as well. Yeah, you know, and there are a lot of different variables uh, when it comes to designing this. So talk to me about some of the uh, you know, controls and designs we've done to help uh, you know, builders overcome that. Yeah, BNT Kyle, of course, we work with the builders, uh, you know, virtually in every area of the boat. You know, with this aft transom table, you know, now we have a couple of different style legs, whether you're putting it on a 30-foot boat or a 40-foot boat. You know, we have to take a look at things like when the engine tilts up, making sure it doesn't hit the back of the thing and crack your cowling. Uh, you know, we have stiffeners on the bottom side of the table. So when it sits out there in 100-degree heat, the table's not going to warp and or bend and things like this. So there's a lot of considerations there, but that's what we do. And uh, we've really had a lot of success in the boats that we've, we've worked to put this on. Yeah, I think even having just been down in the Bahamas with the boat, I, I realized after coming back from that with the new transom table on the boat, it's like, where would you have done some of these things before? You know, to be able to clean fish at the end of the day, to be able to unwind the sandbar, where would you have had space to do that? So Pat, we've built cooler slides you know, for a while now. We have, it's uh, something we've probably built for the last 15 years. So we've done a, a whole wide variety of iterations. Each time we were improving on the last time, you know, but we're never really totally sold on the fact that the, the cooler slide really needs to slide out nice and easy, especially when there's a couple hundred pounds of ice on it. You know, it's, it's a terrible thing to see at the boat show with somebody's fighting a cooler slide, trying to figure out how it works. And I think we've really have a new solution that uh, answers that problem. So with this new cooler slide is the handle now you notice is right in the center of the, of the cooler slide. So the handle, when you pull it, it disengages, you pull it from the middle and it locks out. Okay, when you want to push it back in, you pull the handle again, you push it back in and it locks in. Super easy to use. One of the other big things about the cooler slide is we've created new wheels. So before we were using starboard round wheels and starboard when it rolled on non-skid really was an unpleasant sound. So we uh, created molds and now the wheels are made out of polyurethane, basically the, the same material that your inline skates are made out of. So now when you unleash that handle and pull it out, it rolls just beautifully. We have different mills in the cooler slide that accept different coolers. So it's not just specific for the Yeti 65. You know, the mills are set up so they'll handle Yeti 65s, Engel 65s, or Arctic 65s. Basically, whatever cooler your customer has, you know, he can use in his boat. Yeah, you know, we have the ability to make this in really any size. Absolutely. Speed. Everything as far as Dave's talking about there, the wheels, the uh, stainless springs, uh, the center handle, that's all scalable. So you could do that on a 45, 35, or a, a 110. You know, Dave, I know there's a, a little bit of a boat weight. There's more thing that you're really excited about. Talk to me about the, uh, the dive tank racks. The game changer, game right? Changer. It's all about multi-purpose, Andrew, okay? Absolutely. We have some people here that do a lot of diving. And, you know, one of the questions was, what do you do with your dive tanks in the boat? So we developed a dive tank rack that literally you can pull your Yeti cooler out, and this dive tank rack sits on the cooler slide, locks into place, and it holds four dive tanks. And uh, you have your tanks out of the way. You don't have these racks in the boat or you don't have to screw something to the side of the boat to hold your tanks this whole thing's done for you so it can hold the tanks at home you can transport them in the back of your truck or in your boat so you know even you can imagine at a, at a boat show where you have the yeti sitting next door 
and your dive tanks in there, looking at that, showing people multi-purpose functions of these boats. We just think it's one additional accessory that helps people sell boats. You know, most boats don't have enough functional storage space. And most boat manufacturers want to be able to cram as much as they can into a lot of times a small space. And now we've come up with a way where you can, we can build in some functionality of having two to three different types of storage in the same unit. Basically. Yeah, and they want to be able to market their boats as able to do you know all these different activities well, yeah. on the water. Because you're not going to you're going to fish, you're going to cruise, you're going to go hang out at the sandbar. You've got all these options now. So this new part is a convertible drawer unit, which gives you the ability to hold a tackle boxes, trash can, or bottle storage. So the cool thing about it is. To begin with, you can have four of the uh, Plano waterproof tackle trays. Uh, you can remove that, and that what we've done is we've built integrated shelves into the part. So you take the tackle boxes out, you put the one shelf in, it gives you the ability to have a bottle rack. You can take that out here again, store it back in the part, put another insert in, and then you have trash storage. So it really gives you a wide range of different options. To I love how we it. integrated the inserts into the part, and we've done different you know, concepts somewhat similar or different inserts that are, are loose parts. And you always worry, you know, how long before they get lost or are they banging around in the Absolutely. console? The fact that you store it inside the part is a, a really big win. Right. It gives the sales guy something to demonstrate, something to set his boat apart because, you know, there's a lot of boats that are very much the same. But if there's that little thing that makes people, when they get back to the house with 14 different brochures, to go, oh, you remember that one that had that convertible drawer unit? You know, we can do what you want to do, we can do what I want to do. So it really makes, uh, it sets the boat apart and makes people remember you. So Donnie, every time I'm going out on the water, yeah, I've got my bag, I've got my kids' bags. Yeah, I ask, hey, where are we putting this? Inside the console, there's already four bags inside the console. So we build this mountain of bags and no one can ever get to what they're looking for at the right time. Absolutely. You get, you get on the boat, you open that console and you go to grab anything you need in there. Your, your E-perbs, your, your first aid kit. You're just looking for a raincoat. Yeah, much less your, the head. The head, yeah. The yeah. head you're not finding, right? Good luck if you have to go to use the head. So this year we're really concentrating on console organization to try to alleviate that problem with the bags and and different places to store your items so you have a place for everything. Uh, the first part we did is a, a different hook type thing where we've got stainless hooks that are mounted on different uh, mounting boards. And uh, those can be one, two, six different hooks. But the beauty of it is, is those hooks, are, uh, we're putting those onto our boards and they're all CNC cut, drilled. So a builder, instead of having to mount all that kind of stuff themselves, they can just put the board up there and, and go to zip sell. it right in, right? Yeah. So one of the things we looked at, we really wanted to go, hey, who, who is doing storage and organization well? And, you know, and the, the military came to mind, you know, what are they doing? What are they using? Obviously, it's super important that they're organized, they have everything where they need. And what we found was, was Molly Panel. You know, in Molly Panel, it's a uh, specific pattern of hole cutouts. Right. Really, it's, it's, it's a glorified uh, pegboard to some extent. It's a but badass pegboard. It's a badass pegboard. Yeah. And the beauty of it is, is there's just tons of different accessories that are available that are very affordable. You know, there are little bags for keeping your tools, your first aid bags, and this kind of stuff. That fire really, extinguishers, guns, fire everything you yeah, ever could imagine. Gun holders, the whole nine yards. It just makes it very, very convenient. So where do we put these? I mean, where are the options for where you're putting this Molly panel? Some of the options that we talked about was obviously inside the console, whether it be on the back of the console door or any flat surface that you have inside of that console. You know, another really cool option is underneath these floor hatches. So you don't have to climb down in the bottom of the hatch, find what you need. You open this hatch up and everything is accessible right there in front of you. The beauty of that is also that those parts can be made to whatever shape or size that you may need to take advantage of all the space that you have on the boat. So there you have four of the 39 new parts that we're going to be showing there at the booth. We're very excited and hope you can make it. Uh, we'd love to show you how we can help you to design parts that have great features that are cost effective and help you to sell more boats because that's what it's all about.